our special guest is modern mom, celebrity blogger, reality star, TV personality, <laughs> everything, <laughs> Melissa Beck. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Melissa. you so much for having me. It's great to see you here. First things first. Congratulations, you're expecting again. I am. Here she is. Yeah, in all of her gigantic glory. How old are you? Six months. Oh, God. Six months. Very exciting. And so that labor and delivery is oh. very exciting, <laughs> yes, indeed. Great. You said you're moving around a lot. A lot. Yeah. Constant. This one, this baby is, is a mover. And so you already you have three year old Shalom at home. Yes. Right? And so how is Shalom taking to the home? Um, Shalom is not a fan because I, I also have those moments at night where I'm like, oh no, what if it hurts Shalom's feelings? And no. Shalom and I are like attached, inseparable. No. Like that's my and you will, and you still girl. Will. So people do recognize you from the real world and from girls behaving badly. So after both of these things, we now see you in a very, very different light. Yep, and I just scrapped that whole Hollywood thing yeah. and I moved to Long Island and oh. became a stay-at-home wife, mom. Oh, so you are stay-at-home? Yep. I know. Is, how is that though? How is it doing like the, the wife-mom thing and not the celebrity personality in front of the camera stuff that you did for so long? My celebrity was never really super duper famous like right. what you might be accustomed uh, to. You know, mine was like go to a red carpet, to a movie that's going straight to DVD. <laughs> <laughs> that celebrity part of my life was fun, right. but it was also, you know, not something that I ever aspired to have or do. So is it something that you miss at all? Or? Um, I miss LA and I, 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 there were aspects of it that were really great and it right. brought many, many great opportunities to my life, but I very much have gotten used to Long Island. Yeah. A little. Right. Um, and I, I very, very and I like my suburban little life. Yeah. So your husband, Justin Beck, is in the band. He's a member of the band Glassjaw, yes. right? So what if, does that, do you live vicariously through him a little bit? Vicariously do I live through him? I would, I would be lying if I didn't say, you know, when he's on stage and he's this, the sexiest thing ever on his little <laughs> thing, like I do love that. I like right. standing there and being like Glassjaw's wife. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> He's great, and it's 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 been a really wonderful million year relationship. Oh, that's, good. <laughs> that's so nice to hear. So then, with with your kids coming up, knowing you from knowing him doing that, being in Glassjaw, knowing you from that you do television, is your daughter aware of it? At this uh, point? Oh my God, Shalom Beck will never, ever, ever oh. in life <laughs> <laughs> see me on Real World or Girls ever. You That'll think, never. No, do you think anyone's gonna say anything to her though? Oh, I'm sure. At which point I'll be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> if my daughter ever brought up Real World, I would be like, soap in your mouth right now. <laughs> no, um, I don't feel like that would be important yeah. for her. And you know, listen, it was a slice of my life when I was 22. Yeah. Imagine you're 22 years old. You got bad dental. You're yeah. mad confident. <laughs> <laughs> the whole world is new to you. You've never been out of the South. Yeah. They put you on the show. They say, here is $5,000. Now, in year 2000, $5,000? Girl, yeah. $5,000? <laughs> You're just going to give me that? <laughs> they gave me $5,000 to be on the show, and then they put basically 22 minutes of my life on TV yeah. every day for a year. And this was before they did real world back to back to back to back to back. I can't back. even imagine. I can't begin to imagine. You, you can't. In front of the world. Yeah. But that was great for me and I was, honestly, I I was my true self then, that's the truth. But I also had to grow up on camera. Right. That was a very awkward. Under a microscope. Yes. yes. Six million people yeah. logging on to message boards, look at Melissa's crazy face, oh Melissa's so sensitive. <laughs> so, um, yes. I would rather not relive that through yeah, my so daughter. She doesn't, she doesn't need to know about that. <laughs> so nice to meet you and so nice to talk to you. Thank you for having um, me. And congratulations again. Thank you. Please let everybody know where they can connect with you. Um, if you feel so inclined that you must connect, <laughs> I have uh, Tumblr, melissabeck.tumblr. I'm also on Twitter, but it's locked. So if you got an egg and you try to come in, I need to see your face, I need to be able to click on a profile, I need to check out who you are and what you're doing before you come up in here reading my tweets. But <laughs> Melissa Beck on Twitter. And um, I don't know, wiki me, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mommy and Chief. Join us next time when we chat with Supermom Madeline Nelson. 
Senior Vice President of a r at Sony Music, about being a single mom in the city managing a demanding career. For more information about today's episode, please log on to our website, madamenoir.com slash mommy and chief. And like us on Facebook, and you can follow us on Twitter. And you can always find me on Twitter at Karen, K-A-R-Y-N underscore Parsons, or at sweetblackberry.org. Thanks. We also encourage you to check out our new parenting sister site, mommynoir.com.